All right, we're at the next one, so let's just begin. If you want to have strong enough, long story short, head heat stroke, can't talk about some biting down on something. Okay, let's continue. Go. Go. There. Half Collision. of the field has That's been good. eliminated in the chase for the championship in Marble League 2022 as we come to the penultimate event of the season. Yep. Arguably the, the most physical one there is, Collision. Hey, everybody. Green I'm Ducks Woods. barely in. The pinkies and the shiny. Now, Green Ducks need two gold technically to win. And pinkies have to suck the next two events. Do absolutely horrible. They have to get like 16, 12 times or like a midnight 15th place two times. Or at most a chocolatier like a 14th place one time and a zero. Basically, they can only get two points between the next two events. Or else they win the whole thing. Or Green Ducks can't win, I should say. They have to keep it under 175. Will they? Let's find out. Swarm leading the Savage Speeders and Team Galactic 5th through 8th into the chance. Uh, yeah. But it is a small one, including our hosts, the Green Ducks. This particular event agreed upon by the teams to be readmitted to the Marble League if it was at the end of the season. Given the physicality, given the toll that it takes on these marbles, Love it. They wanted to put it later on. And you also see a bit of a throwback. Those old starting gates supplied by Yellow Tech some of the original designs from the early iterations of this event in the Marble League, they will be used this year because, well, they just flat yeah, work yeah. compared to some technical issues that we were having with the new ones. Yeah. I asked that go wonderful back duck for a comment on the closing of the Marble League, and, well, I think it was emotional because it was completely speechless. <laughs> emotional because it's completely speechless. I can't talk, Wegwood. That's why. Duh. <laughs> That's one of those funny things. All right. So, oh, Green Ducks. Midnight West. Let's see. Response. All right. Match one. The Green Ducks and the hosts come on down. Fighting against the Midnight oh, Wisps. They big do hit by the Midnight heavy West. ball bearings, but not the smaller ones. We've known those as electrons. Oh, well, we do see a couple. One comes across at least. And wow, he barely held up, but he fell off at the end. Opportunities to hang on, but they could not. It ends in a scoreless draw. That's okay. This is group stage, as long as you get oh, some group. wins or some good points yeah. differentials later so, on. So group stage is being like the World Cup type thing. I guess you get one point for if you tie and three points if you win. I'm guessing that's the way they're going, so let's just pick with that. That's what I'm guessing. Bumblebees now, and the Minty Maniacs. Slightly different formations as they come down, and quite a few marbles staying on the course. And I uh, meant to many X on that. I believe it looks like, unless somebody else is hiding somewhere, that the bumblebees oh. will get the win. Wait, what? Yes, they do. What? No, you mean minty maniacs because they got three. Bumblebees only have two. He said bumblebees. Get the win. I believe it looks like, unless somebody else is hiding somewhere, that the bumblebees will get the win. Yes, they do. No, they don't, because Minty Maniacs won it. What? They got three. That's a mistake so on the... the Minty Maniacs will be... That's a mistake on the audio, uh, Greg Woods. Uh, bumblebees did not win that. Minty Maniacs did. They are. Here in Group A, we switch things up. It is the Green Ducks and the Bumblebees, and the Green Ducks shoot three to the top side, four to the top side. They got all but five. But they all stay on. In fact, all five of the Green Ducks have Good. stayed on. That is about as well as you can do. And it's not quite a 5-0, but wow, that's enough to get the Quack Attack going. That gets them four points. Midnight Wisps. And the Minty Maniacs come down now. Oh, those electrons being thrown. Will anybody fall because of it? No. The Midnight Wisps. Oh, yes, they will right at the end. They found a gap in the fence. Minty Maniacs won that anyway. 3-0. The Minty Maniacs hold on. Interesting. This group stage competition, it can excuse one or two mistakes. One minute. So get ready for match five. The Maniacs and the Green Ducks, and this time, nearly everybody clears off, except 
for two green ducks. Green ducks, move on. That's what's important. Is there All somebody right. hiding down there in front of that ball bearing? Ah, yes, there is. Just barely see it. It's still enough for a win, though. 2 1. It's kind of hard to play square at the foot of that. Paddle on by. Let's just keep it up here. They are fighting for their continuation in the Marble League right now. They are the team that is on the bubble. Oh, and this is a wonderful Ooh. overhead look at the different formations that these two teams uh, have. And we that. see four of the Minty Maniacs holding on compared to just two of the Bumblebees. Greg Woods' audio is off in this. He's saying Minty Maniacs when it should be Midnight Wiss and it should be, and he should say Minty, Minty Maniacs when it should be the, and he said Bumblebees when it should be Minty Maniacs. Greg Woods, your audio was a little bit off in this, man, I have to say. Most of that damage done early on. The Green Ducks and the Minty Maniacs move will move on. The Midnight Wisps and the Bumblebees, who sit in sixth in the standings, they are eliminated. Yeah, so World Cup soccer. Okay, let's we see. We go to Group B now with the Raspberry Racers and the Pinkies. Pinkies Off are they the go. leaders. Ball bearings being shot everywhere. Most of the marbles are down on that near side, but they managed to Pinkies avoid win. it. Four stay on for the Pinkies, and that gives them a one-point win. Currently. Now, depending on how well they do in this, this could kick out Savage the uh, Green Ducks either way. Crazy cat size. So if they move on, Green Ducks can't win. Savage Speeders needing the good results to continue. They are sitting in third in the standings. They dropped one after the last event. And they are 18 points back of the Pinkies. Five. And they draw on this one. Man, that was a hard hit for Blue Eye down the near side. You see that? Solid collision took out two of the wall blocks. Going to be feeling that one in the next matchup. Raspberry Racer and Savage Speeders. Talk about an old rivalry here. Oh, and look at this big gaping hole on the bottom side. The Speeders are teetering. And they hold on. But what do the other numbers do? That is a draw. Speeders instantly lost two to the near side. But there's another one up in the top right. Speeders trying to stay in it. Pinkies I need and the Pinkies Cats to do bad here. are leaders in the Marble Ooh, League compared yeah. to a team that is in 10th and eliminated. Well, crazy and cat the Crazy this. Cat Size have held on on this one. 2-1. Yep. They All upset right, the so leaders. We might be able to knock Pinkies out. Cats trying to find some if, semblance of you know, any Depending on how point-wise go, Pinkies... The way that this is gone, yeah, yeah. yes, they did get a couple of medals. It's not enough to save them. What do they do on this one against the Raspberry Racers? Racers won that. And the Racers, they've kept everybody. That's a five marble keep. Five to two. And they easily triumph. And there were some close calls on that one. With a mighty robust, if you ask me. Pinkies. And the Speeders. Pinkies need a good result Ooh. here. They've lost a couple. They still have at least three of them on, but there's one on the far end there trying to hold on, and I believe they have. Yes, they have. Three oh, to two. Oh, no. Pinkies move on. Pinkies. Oh, we're hearing they will qualify. Wow. Coach Pinky promised the technical director, Pinky Spud, they... That was Bay of Dwarf? Were they? Oh, because they dwarf. <laughs> I just poke myself on the nose. Well, with that qualification, Pinkies are guaranteed higher, at least in the top eight. That means they're going to gain enough points. Green Ducks cannot win the Marble League. Green Ducks can maybe get top three, but they won't be able to get top, top dog. So Pinkies at least qualified, at least for that. Are quite pleased with how they set so, that up. I know we haven't done a ton of slow-mo views on the actual formations. You'll see the diamond, you'll see the spear. Sometimes there's versions they call the hammer. There's all kinds of different ways to approach this event and whatever they did to get out of what some in the run up to this have called the group of death. That is commendable. As we enter Topic into the guy. next group here, who Talk are not guy. too shabby on their own. Mellow Yellow and the Chocolatiers, they draw. Two teams that are out in the standings. They cannot win. Well, I give it a best go. Why not? Nothing to lose. How about 
the Shining Swarm. They have been the talk of a lot of people's Marble League. And right now, they're trying not to lose that one over there. Woo-hoo! Very close. Did they do enough? Like I said, Marble are hidden. Underneath that starting gate, they've spread back out. Ah, they do get that win. Two to one. The Shining Swarm have surprised everybody. I mean, of course, so have the Pinkies. But the resurgence of late. They jumped two spots after the last event to move into second place, eight points behind the Pinkies. Yeah. So if they advance out of this group, that'll be a storyline moving forward. Yeah, because they Mellow wanna... Yellow will try their hand against the Swarm now, and the Swarm have lost two on the near side. And I think one up top, but watch these big ball bearings. What's going to happen? Gosh. The Electrons shooting across. The smaller ones do no more damage. And it is a 2 nil win. So if they, they I bet the two swarm. wins, it basically means they've moved on. So the Swarm, I don't mind Swarm, I don't mind Pinkies winning, but I was just hoping Green Ducks win, but they can't win swarming anymore. Swarming in here to get a piece of the action because this is the peak. I mean, this is chasing immortality. As we get ready for this next matchup here, balls of chaos. Tie. Oh, okay. In fact, both teams did not keep a single marble on. All right, well, never mind. <laughs> that, that does go as a draw. It could be worse. It could be a loss. Balls of Chaos and Mellow Yellow now. Yellow. Down they come. Balls of Chaos. They've got four on the near side. Oh, they lose one up top. But for the team that sits last in the standings, they've got to be feeling good about that. Three to one. Oh, they're win. Balls of Chaos. This guarantee up not last. Mellow Yellow. Chaos reigning in that match That's at kind of least. psychedelic there. <laughs> Will they be able to move on? Chocolatiers and the Shining Swarm. Chocolatiers come with a three marble front and that clear space for the back two and that will give them the victory. So that three marble line got a little out of sorts. Giant Swarm, Giant swarm could not put it together on their side. And they drop another. A chocolate guy. The Chocolatiers do move on, as do the Shining Swarm. Balls of Chaos, they are... Interesting. So with the Swarm and with the Pinkies moving on, Swarm might be the biggest threat. So depending on how everything goes on, Swarm's going to Eliminated, be the biggest challenge the for them. And Mellow Yellow also down in the bottom spot. So go up to Shining key. Swarm and the Chocolatiers. Chocolatiers, by the way, are in 14. Good result for them. Lining Glaciers now against Team Primary. And team Primary's got two spinning in the middle, three in total. And I believe that should give them the win. Mm -hmm. Wonderful redirection of energy. Keeping those two marbles just spinning in place. Red, yellow, blue. Red, Nicely yellow, done blue. Team that is Red, yellow, the blue. The <laughs> O-Rangers, they're in fifth. Compared to Team Galactic. They should have the secondary know, colors as uh, antithesis thing. And Tetrary, right? Ball bearings released, but I think we've got a draw. Oh, I'm... Galactic, by the way, sitting in fourth in the standings right now. Oh, they move on. They can, they, can they, can they can still win. Three all. Apophatic way, I think. What? Final made metal play, yeah. Some of these other teams, fans watching in disbelief at some of the physicality that we have seen. Hard impacts, Marble's actually lifting up in the air. Ooh. That was a good formation from the O'Rangers. Oh! But I don't know if it's gonna pay off. I think we've got a draw here. Yes, they almost had a win, but Electron knocked him the they next week. tight at the beginning. <laughs> the impact splayed them out wide. Couple Let's see if we can see it. Catch some of the barriers that do not move. Ah, they didn't and that is one strategy that you can have to avoid careening through one of those green walls. Primary and Galactic. Down they come. Almost a, a, a curvature, Ooh, a line that. by Galactic. Uh, Don't know what their on. thinking was on that one, but it's not going to hurt them all too much. Well, from that angle, it looks Tied. a bit more sensible as they go to a 2-2 draw. Team Galactic 4. How are they clapping? They don't have hands. And no other ones. They have no a other color. Them. So it's feast or famine for them. We're in the blocks once again. Loads of silver out Ooh. on the course right now. Black oh, both on. One of those small ball bearing traps failed to fire. 
question is we'll need to see from the top angle which of these silver teams got it. It was Team Galactic, 3 0 uh -huh. over the Gliding Glaciers. They are the first team eliminated among those who cannot win the Marble League now. They did actually jump up one spot, but it wasn't enough. Five points behind the Green Ducks, but that margin is too much statistically to get the Gliding Glaciers. Well, green Ducks are out too. At the, championship. the o Rangers Ooh. come down now against Team Primary. Primary can't win, but go out with a blaze of glory. Primary can't four apiece. Primary can't win, but go out with a blaze of glory. Yes, they do. Now, who won this one group? I have no idea. I know side. Galactic moved on. One late loss to the top side for the O-Rangers at the end. Who won it? The referees haven't had too much to do up there on the starting gate. Your Galactic goal? in primary. There we go. Rangers was one of the teams that could win, but now they won't move on. I think that's going to hurt their chances. Tried and true. You're going with oh. what works. And I can tell you what works right now. Galactic and team primary. They get the by. The team teams. The O-Rangers in fifth place are eliminated. They will go no further. All right. Here we go. OBs, Grand Glaciers, one point. Oh, okay. That's the thing. The night wests. No. Surprising, our Rangers get nothing. So. As we take a look at the bottom of the order, you're looking at the points differential there. All right, here we go. As we now move on to the quarterfinals. Green Ducks come through and all oh, lose a bunch of them early. And so five, two to the Chocolatiers. Watch this marble trailing to the bottom side. This could decide the match. Oh, the Green Ducks hold. Woo. <laughs> Sometimes they you put the brakes on advantages to webbed feet if they have them. Four. Four green. We're going again. Nice oh, no. two, two to decide on the oh, that's draw. That's right. It's the and it will be the green ducks who advance. That's right. No uh, things Austin's anymore. Going to brush against the wall. No peels away from it. Nicely that's done fine. to the hosts. They end up splitting the chocolatiers. That was an interesting one. Chocolatiers, I think, were hoping to maybe redirect the ducks into each other yeah, and instead they ducks just alive. zipped right on through. Pinkies and Team Primary. Down they come, ball bearings released instantly, collisions even late. Pinkies lose. Oh, watch over there on the far side, the Pinkies lose one, and that may have decided it. Yep. Well, one of those Pinkies actually went up the ramp. Yes, it did. Oh, my goodness. They almost had the match. Watch to the right side here to go to overtime. Oh, and did they actually come together? So that means it opens up the door for someone, the Shining Swarm, or someone else to gain a lot of points here. I don't think Green Ducks can win anymore, so. Was it just a matter of not being able to hold on? But Team Primary, 12th place in the standings, knockoff number one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Primary. Shining Swarm and the Minty Maniacs now. Mm. The Maniacs send two to the opposite side, in fact, collide into each other. And that favors the second place Shining Swarm, for whom the himself. door has Sorry, swung wide himself. open to make an assault Long on the works. lead of the standings. Even though this Don't kill yourself, is either. only going to be a draw for Don't them. Do that. So we'll re rack and do the tie break. 3 3. In the tie break. Wonderful managed Minty to Maniacs buy the move Minty on. Maniacs. Hmm. Well, how many points they did that so give? They were so close together. They sent two of their teammates backwards. One to the far side, again, hitting that immovable object. That's what you want to aim well, for in a do situation like this. And the Minty Maniacs will move on. It's going to help the Team Galactic, Galactic and the Raspberry Racers. Oh, good penetration there Ooh, by Team Galactic. Well, Galactic in the left hand corner. Will it pay off in points? I right believe there. it has. 3 2. They will get the win. Wait, where's the third Galactic model? Galactic. Ooh, a solid impact by one of those large ball bearings. Oh, he bounced off the, the wall. They have okay. given. But Galactic did not. Huh. Well, they got a shot to win the whole thing now, don't they? So even with the same points difference, Shining Swarm is ahead. Right, Pinkies gain eight. The most Green Ducks can gain is 17 points. So I don't think that's enough to win the whole thing. Chocolatiers for having more points for. But notice also that we didn't add the overtime result into the counting to keep it fair for everybody. But there you see fifth through eighth. Huh. Four teams have moved on. Well, the Green Ducks are oh. one of them. Team Primary the other. 
The Ducks send three backwards. Two of them are spinning. But I think Team Primary have done enough here to force overtime. Yeah. Yes, they have. 3-3. Three, three. You're much more limited in formations when you get into this, but it becomes much more of a straight fight. How do they do? Solid impacts. The Green Ducks hold on to two. One marble rolling to the near side. Oh, Green Ducks, they lose one to the top side. A groan from the crowd. Team Primary have knocked off the Ducks. That completely seals it. They can get a bronze. That would help them. Team Primary. They can get some sort of two metal. Two silvers. They're hoping for better. Minty Maniacs and Team Galactic. A lot of marbles still on the board. Galactic won that. Let's see if this is going to be another draw or... No! Team Galactic get the win. 4-3. All of them are mostly that right side. One just left of center. And they advance to the final. We do have a third place match to decide the bronze, however. But well done to some of these fans. Their teams may have been eliminated early on, but they want to see how this one ends. And also, they realize the end is nigh. It's coming up quick. The end of the Marble League. This is third place. Green Ducks, Minty Maniacs. Collision here. And it looks like three Green Ducks are headed off to the far side, but they're staying on the table. And I think I only see two Minty Maniacs. Hey, bronze. There we go. The Green Ducks get the bronze. Going for a team that is on the cusp of being eliminated statistically. They are going to get a nice points haul here. I think, Will they? it keep them out of elimination? We'll have to see. No. This to decide the gold. I don't think of that. Team Galactic, Team Primary. Different formations for each of them. And this is going to be a win for Team Primary. A win for Momo. There you go. Momo has a Team win. Team Galactic <laughs> sent a different formation than what we have seen them do before. It's almost an L shape, and as a result, that adds in a couple of extra collisions, and Team Primary comes away with the win. Well done to Team Primary. They have their first gold medal, their third medal overall in these games. They will move up the order, of course, eliminated. They can't win the championship, and look at that, two finalists both from Group D. Uh, a, big question. a lot of eyes turning to the numbers now. They are being crunched at the moment to decide who will move up where, who falls out of the order, who falls out of contention. First pan down for some celebrations, however. Congratulations to Team Primary for their gold, Team Galactic for their color conscious silver, and the Green Ducks <laughs> for the bronze. Oh, but the Green Ducks are yep. eliminated. Only four teams can now win the championship as we hit. Green Ducks can't even get third place. They can't because 170, they they can most get fourth place, which sucks. But for to be fair, for a host, because <laughs> the host teams normally suck in hosting, Green Ducks didn't do too bad. So, I mean, four medals... Uh, three silver, one bronze, eh. and you still got a shot to win, so you can get 165. So Savage Speeders can win with 182 points, but they need to get a, uh, the others need to do terrible, and Savage Speeders have to get gold in the next event. And Pinkies have to get zero or 15th, like a 16th or 15th place, like one point to lose it all. So, but Shining Swarm, they just need, you know, high, five, they need six points to win it and get above. Galactic needs, they need sixth place and above to win. A medal would seal it. So it's highly favoring Pinkies, but Shining Swarm Galactic are in range to beat it. It's very unlikely for Savage Speeders to win it. Savage Speeders need a gold to win the whole thing. Can happen. Unlikely, I think, though. I don't think, if Speeders get a gold, that would be surprising. But again, just because they get a gold, what if Pinkies get silver? or bronze or any other thing. They need it have two points or more to win the whole thing over speeders. So even if speeders get a gold, it doesn't matter. So it's down to Swarm, Galactic, and Pinkies. Now Galactic, have they won before? 
no, Midnight West, Rangers, Savage Speeders twice. And was it Raspberry Racers? I think it was Raspberry Racers. But no, so Pinkies, hey, if they win, cool. Swarm win, cool. Galactic win, hey, cool. I don't mind any of these teams. Not the Savage Speeders, though. Into the final right. event the Pinkies, the Shining Swarm, Team Galactic, and the Savage Speeders. Back. And so, who will stand at the top of the Green Pond? Wife. Who will win the Marble League in 2022? Find out after the elimination race next time. So I was not doing a Marble Cross thing, but we'll take it. All right, so elimination race. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.